Hi, Jackie Van Riller here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about tinnitus. So this is something I get a ton, a ton, a ton of questions on. I've done a few videos on it already, but I'm just going to do another one. Um, tinnitus can be caused by so many different things, and so facial reflexology can be helpful for it in some cases, in some cases not, particularly if you've been in situations where you just have been exposed to really loud noises, um, like in a position where you're like, um, employed doing loud things all the time or you've been to like a lot of like really loud concerts or just things like that shooting guns or those types of things that can cause some just some ringing in your ears that you may or may not be able to help however a lot of people have tinnitus because they're exposed to more um, EMF frequencies so this is very very common lately that people just kind of have this underlying ringing in their ears or they have had something that has disrupted their nervous system that is causing more of that like of a disruption and so a couple of things that you can do are to um, decrease your exposure to emfs um, the one person i have worked with who's had the worst emf was actually somebody who is um the worst you know sorry the worst tinnitus <laughs> talking too loud too fast here um is somebody who worked in repaired cell phone towers and he had his tinnitus so bad that like we were never able to really help it too much because that was part of his job he was constantly being exposed to this high EMF. Now your body's natural um, vibration is supposed to be that the same as nature. And in nature, in the earth, the vibration is 7.83 megahertz. And that is a very, very low vibration. Then you get into having the EMF frequencies, which are now what, like five gigahertz. So like eight zeros after that. So it's a very chaotic, um, energy for your nervous system. When you already have some nervous system stress or disruptions, it can really cause more chaos and more disruptions, and it can actually cause um, issues with your health and things like that as well. So what I really highly recommend, in addition to doing this protocol that I'm going to show you, is to limit your EMF exposure. So don't sleep with your cell phone in your room. I know that that's something that most people probably do. So leave it out of your room, make sure, or make sure that you turn it off at night so that it's not those, um, those, that chaotic energy isn't affecting your brain and nervous system while you're sleeping because it will disrupt your sleep. If you're wearing a smartwatch, please take that off. This is very disruptive energy. You may have noticed that you actually have issues with your hands on the hand that you wear it on. I've had a lot of people who have ended up with, um, like, is, like issues in their forearm or carpal tunnel or things like that, or sometimes just numbness and tingling because they're wearing this smartwatch all the time. Um, be careful about when you use Bluetooth. So earbuds, um, Alexa, even Bluetooth in your car or things like that. So just use it only when you need to. Don't have it turned on consistently. And then I also recommend turning off your Wi-Fi at night to give yourself even more rest and relaxation from that. But for the points on your face, which you're going to work, you're going to be regarding your kidneys because your kidneys um, nourish and um, distribute energy throughout your entire nervous system. And the kidneys are also associated with your ears. Notice that your ears are shaped like your kidneys. So we're going to start with our kidney points on our forehead, fingers on the corners of the mouth, bring them all the way up to the hairline and then down a little bit. You'll feel an area that your fingers will kind of fit into. You can just massage those areas with your fingers if you don't have a magic wand yet. You're definitely going to want to purchase one of these. It is probably the best $60 investment you will ever make because everybody has a lot of stress within their nervous system, particularly because we are more exposed to um, these chaotic energies that we don't even realize how much they're affecting us. So work in this area. If this area is lumpy, bumpy, tender, Give it a good 15 to 20 second um, massage with that, with that magic wand. And then work on the other side. You will probably notice that one side feels different than the other. One might be more activated, more tender. That's the side that just needs a little extra love and attention. If you have tinnitus, this might be something that you do a few times a day to help to relieve it. Other thing that I recommend is getting outside, getting into nature, if it's warm where you are, put your bare feet on the ground. We all wear shoes that have rubber soles and that rubber soles disconnect us from the earth's energy and the earth's vibration. So when you can put your, your body by itself on the ground, sit on the ground, lay on the ground, soak up sun, these things are all so good for your nervous system. We don't even realize how, um, how disconnected we are from nature. Next point we're gonna work is right in the center of the forehead. This has to do with the mind. 
A lot of times when we have tinnitus, we also have this overactive mind that we just can't shut up. And that's just because our nervous system is stressed. It's under pressure. So work the center of the forehead area right in here. And then come down a little bit lower. This area is for the pineal gland. The pineal gland is about sleep and wake cycles. If you are on your phone or your computer or watching TV or exposed to artificial lights for large periods of the time, that will actually turn off or decrease the production of melatonin, which occurs within your pineal gland, and then you won't get very restorative sleep. If you're not getting great sleep and you're not feeling um, energized and restored in the morning, it does mean that your nervous system is off balance because that is probably the number one thing that helps to detoxify and um, settle your nervous system. We're gonna move down a little bit further to the pituitary gland. Your pituitary gland is the master gland of all of your other glands. This is really important for hormonal regulation as well as just calming the nervous system. And then we're just gonna work our way down. Here we have the heart. The heart is another organ that's very much affected by EMF frequencies. When your heart is overburdened or overtaxed, it's going to beat harder and faster, and then that can actually lead to more anxiety as well. So this is a great point for calming down the heart rate, causing it to beat more effectively and slower so that you're feeling more relaxed and calm. Coming down a little bit further, this is a point for the diaphragm. Diaphragm improves your breathing. Oftentimes when our nervous system is stressed, we will be breathing faster and more shallowly. Working out that diaphragm is gonna allow you to breathe, more, breathe in more air and breathe more deeply and really expand those lungs, which is also going to improve circulation and improve um, how you're feeling as well, decreasing anxiety specifically. And then moving down the nose to this spot right here. This is an amazing spot. I love this spot. It's called the gate of vitality. And this has to do with bringing your energy from your head or your brain or your mind into your body where you feel more guided, um, where you have can feel more of your intuition. A lot of times our mind is going 25 bazillion miles an hour and we can't even listen to our gut. So this is bringing energy into our gut working on both sides, those are working some more kidney points. And then we're gonna move down and work underneath of the chin hair. I actually like to work right here. This is a point for the adrenal glands. When your nervous system is stressed, it activates your adrenal glands, your adrenal glands pump out cortisol, and that causes all kinds of issues with your body, anxiety, depression, weight gain, inflammation, um, headaches, high blood pressure, all of those things. We want a nice, calm nervous system and nice, calm adrenal glands. Coming underneath of the mouth here, we have a good spot for the ureters. This is about reducing inflammation and reducing any fluid buildup in the body. And then coming down to the feet, the feet help us feel grounded. It's also about our connection to earth and connection to nature. So working this whole area in here where there are lumps and bumps. This is a very lumpy, bumpy area for most people. So take your time on the chin as you're doing that. It's also related to the bladder and the emotion of fear. Any issues like fear, worry, anger, anxiety, those things are all gonna be really disruptive to the nervous system. And so when we're working this area of the chin, this is helping to re release stagnant emotions and get them out of your body. So just notice if this is lumpy or bumpy, take your time on it. I find a good spot right in here. I'm gonna hang out there for a few seconds and then move on. As with every protocol that we're due, we're going to work around the ears, so you can do circles around the ears, or you can work up and down this front side of the ear, whichever works best for you, either way is fine. I like circling the ears if that's a possibility, because a lot of times we do have some tension here in the back of the ears, and that helps to work that out. Again, the ears are related to the kidneys, they have the same shape, but it's also gonna be anything related to the ears, such as with tinnitus. 
Tinnitus can be one of the most difficult things to completely get rid of. So this is something you're going to want to do frequently. Um, you're really going to want to make sure that you are um, limiting your exposure to EMFs as much as possible. Um, maybe set your um, router or your Wi-Fi on a, um, oh, what can I think of the word, on a schedule so it turns off automatically at night. Um, and then just make sure that you're sleeping, particularly the area that you sleep is dark that there are no frequencies that are like really close to you, turn off Bluetooth, turn off your phone, all of those things, so that you can make sure that you're getting that nice, restful, restorative sleep, and I think that you'll see a big difference. Thank you for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video, and please pass this along to somebody that it can help today. Let's spread the word of this incredible technique.